Hey guys, merry one year anniversary of us posting a video. Uh, so we went on this trip a year ago and I said that if we didn't post it, we died. Well, surprise, we didn't die. We dead. Our mom's coming up the stairs. And uh, yeah, so I hope you like this video and no promises on when the next one will be. Uh, probably, five years? Maybe a five year, Who ten knows? year anniversary. We'll see, it, there, we'll throw a party, but thanks for watching. That is like sketchy. So look at this side. Like this side is like. <laughs> yeah, it's super <laughs> steep. Dad would be freaking out right now. Good, 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 good morning, Vietnam! Here with Daniel, he crashed at our place last night. So it's uh, nine o'clock in the morning, which is roughly when we wanted to be leaving. We're gonna go get some breakfast with Daniel at his uh, hotel that his parents are staying at. We're gonna go crash the, the continental breakfast. And uh, then we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna be on our way to the Grand Canyon. And we're really hoping, fingers crossed, that it does not look like this. Do you have any happy things you wanna say to the camera, Keegan? No. You're not happy right now? No. But we're on our way to the Grand Canyon, bro! We are. It'll be fun once we get there. It's cold as freak outside. My watch currently says that it's 11 degrees. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna be hoping for the best and gonna have a good time. Woohoo! Keegan, watch out for that truck and finish. Oh, thanks, Dean. Keegan, thanks, thanks don't for crash! Time. Don't crash into that truck! Can you even see it? Barely. <laughs> oh, that's much, see, look, much better. See, look, on the windows. They don't do anything. We need some water on there. So, I'm if, gonna if go we're going slower. Impossible style. I'm holding... Okay, this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was great! Ah, water's getting inside <laughs> the car! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm very wet. I don't know where to put this. Dang, that didn't work at all. <laughs> oh, I wonder why. Shut up. <laughs> My arm is all wet. The inside of the car is all oh, wet. Check. I cleaned off that portion of the windshield. Thanks. That's oops. It's the car. <laughs> It's 23 degrees outside. We're going back to our campsite where we have tents set up. And we're just having a grand old time at the Grand Canyon. So we brought <laughs> blankets and uh, it's really cold. It's very chilly. We'll, we'll be fine. I think the, the tents will be pretty toasty. I hope so, man. I think they'll be fine. We'll give you guys a tour in just yeah. a second. It'll be see our pretty beautiful. Pretty, yeah, there are, we have two one-man tents. Fingers crossed, even though by the time, if this video never gets posted, you'll know why, it's because yeah. we froze to death. But if you're <laughs> watching this video, it means that everything turned out fine. Yep. 
So we are, at this point, I really don't know which one's gonna happen. <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. Here's a little tour of this wonderful tent we got here. It's about 20 degrees outside right now. It's a pretty spacious one-man tent. We got place for feet and then bedding and a sleeping bag and that's about it. Hopefully we won't freeze to death. It's just super cold so that's about it. It's uh, 25 degrees outside right now. That's where we slept. And uh, it wasn't actually too bad. We packed a lot of blankets and stuff. So, uh, stay pretty warm if you're a little cold. And hopefully you can hear me over the wind. I'll show you around the campsite real quick. So there's ours. And this guy just made all these little spots where you can camp. There's a nice little observation deck thing, I guess. This is supposed to be a shower. See, there's there's like no running water you're just supposed to put something on that hook I'm assuming it's this bucket I think that's where the guy lives the Grand Canyon's about a 40 minute drive from here and uh, we're gonna go see what it looks like because that's why we came there's Keegan morning Keegan So we're, we're really close. Oh, bro. You can kind of see you it. You gotta see it. It's so cool. It feels like the ocean because you know how when you're driving towards the ocean, you can kind of see, like you know you're getting close and the trees are kind of different and you're like looking for the ocean and finally you see the little blue peeking over. And we like, just saw some canyons peek over the trees or dip under or something. Do we just stop this Just park here probably. Yeah. All right. Hey, trash only. Okay, this is it. We're coming up on it right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy moly. It looks like a picture. That's pretty big. It doesn't even look real, dude. <laughs> Holy cow. Damn. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> Holy cow! That doesn't look real. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, that is nuts. Man. Dude, dad would be flipping his cord right now. Wow, dude. Afraid of heights. That's the Colorado River right there, that brown spot, and that brown spot right there. And it is just massive. I know, dude, this is huge. Like, this camera does it no justice, no. this little iPhone camera. Look at you can see all the way up there. We're FaceTiming our parents right now. You guys want to say hi? Yeah, hello. <laughs> it's my dad. He's, uh, he'd be scared if you were here, because he doesn't like heights. It's, yeah, it's so cute. It's, like, it's mind-boggling. Look at that. Whew. We're trying to get out there. But it's snowy, so uh, we're trying to not die. Yeah, Dad, we're trying to get to that point right there. Dang, son. This is so cool. We saw the Grand Canyon and now we're gonna go home. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't really know what we're gonna do for the rest of the day, but we're gonna go check out the Grand Canyon Village. We're gonna come back to this place at sunset. We're gonna go look at some of the other lookout points around here. Anything else you wanna do? Just 
check it out. Yeah, it's man. crazy. It's like incomprehensibly big. Yeah. It's really cool. Also, we're in here with all the tourists. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> we're a tourist too. So we're gonna go to this place and we're gonna do this hike and we're gonna go see that building and then we're gonna do sunset at Yamaha. Course grinding mano and find the grinding mano. Am I right? You are right. Wow. How did I? Oh. So dirty. Look at the front of it. And nasty. The Keegan, all the time we're driving and he's like, sure glad this isn't my car right now. It's gonna be rusted away by the time we get home. No kidding. Ugh. It's okay, everything's made of plastic. This was black once upon a time. Not anymore. Not anymore. Well, watch it when we get home. Can you tell that it's snowing? Keegan Yay. put on a hat because it's snowing. My ears got cold. We're gonna go to that place. It's called the Hopi House. Something like that. Looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's pretty authentic. Mmm, neat. It says that's a guy shrugging. I don't know how to ride a donkey sled, but the sun likes two colored hats, and I get excited when I see blackbirds, snakes. Good one, man. Thank you. I'm good at translating. Oh, Dean, I have no puffing, no banging. <laughs> You've reached like hardless too. <laughs> See those stairs right there? Oh, see, when we when we walked up to this building, we thought we were gonna get explore it, and it's an old building or something. Nope. Nope. This it's just a tourist shop. Jump. Yeah, it's just a bunch of cool tourist things to buy. But we're not into They're that. Like way overpriced. It's like like three hundred dollars. So there's some stairs. Stuff. We could go up there, and we get a good look at the Grand Canyon. Now that it's all foggy and snowy, uh -huh. we can't see anything. Yeah. Let's go to that. We're gonna go to a different lookout point. It's like this tower. I think we'll probably be able to climb it. Yeah. Because I saw bars on top of it, meaning like they don't want people to don't... fall in. Yeah. There's like. Okay, that's pretty promising. You know what's interesting? Hmm. I was at um, I was at this place in is like this big giant castle slash fortress. It was like it was a castle. I'm so cool. No, I've been all over the world. The, just listen <laughs> to the story. Okay? I've only been on one trip. I went a lot of places on that trip. It was in. Uh, shoot, where was it, man? I think it was Budapest. If I'm... Right, I don't know, I have to ask my friend Johnny, he would remember. Anyways, 
and we went it was this big giant castle that was like conquered multiple times and every time it was conquered it was like reinforced mm -hmm. and so like by the time like nobody used it anymore it was crazy it like had all sorts of military stuff all the way up to like world war one and so it was wow. like this castle that had been, been then been fortified with like newer style fortifications and then like that happened over and over again which was really cool to see like all of the history of it but anyways there's like these huge cliffs on the edge of it and there's just like a sign that basically says like watch out you could die and that's it there's no guardrails there's no anything and then, and then you America, come here and everything yeah. is super controlled and super like everything's gated off and stuff which is like i guess makes sense but i like the other way better Okay, so uh, the sunset is not gonna be very good today because it's overcast and so we're just ditching out. We're gonna go back to the little town here and buy some extra blankets for tonight for extra warmth. Um, and then we will maybe, we'll, we're gonna eat some food somewhere and then, um, and then we're going to hang out, see if there's anything to do, maybe watch a movie if there's a theater there. Maybe, I don't know if they're even in. It's a pretty little town. Dean thinks that there's gonna be something, but I'm not convinced. Anyways, um, other than that, we're gonna be back tomorrow morning to um, take, take, a, take sunrise a sweet picture. sunrise picture slash time lapse, maybe. Both. Yes. And then we're gonna head home, and on our way home, we're gonna try to stop at some cool places that we saw along the way. That's the plan for now. That's the plan. morning everyone it's five o'clock in the morning and Keegan's getting changed I just got up and got all ready uh, tonight sleeping was a lot better it was a lot less cold because there was cloud cover right now the stars are starting to come out which is good that means it's clearing up uh, we're gonna go to the Grand Canyon and try to get a, um, a sunrise picture and it should be really pretty we're hoping that not too many people are there and that the sunrise is really pretty and stuff and that, uh, yeah, we're not getting up at five for no reason. But we went to bed last night around seven o'clock or something. It was really early because we were tired and we got back and there's not much to do. So we're just like, well, we'll just go to bed. So uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we can get to the Grand Canyon on time and get a nice picture of the sunrise. And then we're heading home and on our car ride back, we're gonna hit um, some cool things that we saw coming here. We're gonna have a longer day. Um, so we're gonna spend some time when we're driving back looking at the cool sights on the way home. And that should be the that should be it for our trip. So it's winding down, but it's been a lot of fun, and we're really glad that we came. Uh, so yeah, next stop is uh, sunrise. So we're headed out. We just finished packing up camp, and we're gonna go watch the sunrise, like Dean already told you. Um, our host guy is we never met him, um, which is probably okay. Huh? Show him the two cars. Yeah, we will once. Uh, Let's shut this off real quick. So there's the two quality vehicles there. That's a Pontiac Grand Am and a um, Pontiac Pontiac Grand Am over there and a Ford Taurus over there, which are like two of the worst cars ever. The white trashiest cars ever. We don't really. It's not a big bummer that we didn't meet our our camp host fellow. Yeah, this place is called Green Leaf Campground, so we're pretty sure that. He just gets high all the time. Yeah. And so we weren't too bummed that we never met him. Yeah. But anyways, now we're gonna go have fun. And since he never met us, he's felt bad. Like yesterday, or no, it was the first night. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. No, the first, the first night. Oh yeah. So okay. the first day, two days ago. 
Uh, said, hey, we got here saving time. He's like, cool, sorry I wasn't there to welcome you guys. I'll offer you a free summer weekend uh, since I didn't meet you guys. So hypothetically, we could come back here and come to the Grand Canyon again during the during summer. summer. We got here at 6.20 and it's still super dark outside. You probably can't tell. Uh, I guess you can. Can you see the stars? They're so pretty. Look, there's a really bright one. That's actually the flash from the camera. <laughs> so now we're just gonna wait, eat some breakfast, and yeah. In a little bit, probably an hour is when it'll start to get bright out, so. We're a little early, but whatever. Better, better early than late and miss the sunrise, right, Keegan? Heck yeah. Yeah, man. That's bright. All right, we made it back to the Grand Canyon, and holy cow. That view does not get old. It's so enormous. So we've got the Keegan's phone right here doing a time lapse. Should be pretty cool. And there's Keegan. Morning, bro. What's up, dudes? He's gonna hike out to there. We're gonna try to take some some sweet pictures yeah. to put on all the social medias yep. so people think we're cool. Yep. And I don't know, man. This is this is our last time here, and then we're gonna head home back to Utah and it's pretty holy rad. cow yeah get out and travel people we are we're like eight hours away from where where we're staying in Provo this is an eight hour drive it's not even that bad and it's totally worth it holy cow we spent 25 bucks a night at our Airbnb nearly froze to death the first night the first tonight night. was really nice yeah I was too hot most of the night so. so we've spent pretty minimal it's been gas money some food and 25 bucks a night to sleep on the ground it's been worth it. every moment of it and pick the best moments for you guys because that's what we do. Look at all the signs, man. Check it, bro. Boom! Welcome to America. This is Route 66? Yeah. Well, really? It's, it's like, it's like a, a highway that goes into a town, goes through the town and it keeps going. This doesn't seem very exciting. <laughs> it seems pretty normal. It is normal. Route 66! We're on Route 66! It's a normal road! Wow. Oh my gosh, why did they write songs about it? Because of the places it goes and it's Look really it. cool. It's just like regular pavement, bro. Yeah, Dean, you're <laughs> stupid. Gosh. Get your kicks on Route 66! Woo! This is so exciting. I feel so much Americana right now. Don't even talk to me. 